What's good guys, it's the newbie here and welcome back to another Roblox video. Before we start, I just want to say a lot of you guys watch these videos and are not subscribed. I'd heavily appreciate it. If you just have the time to subscribe, it's only free. Just click that red button down below. And also, we just released the newbies Rota 1k shirt. It's a 15 Robux and this shirt is going to actually go off sale once we actually hit a thousand subscribers. So get it while you can. It's only 15 Robux and it's also attached to the official newbie fan group. So uh, yeah, I'd heavily appreciate that. It does uh, give a lot of support to the channel. So if you want to support the channel a different way, buy this shirt. Or you could buy any of the other shirts and the donations and stuff. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. So welcome back into today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get the verified sign and the verified bondified platified hat on Roblox. So if you don't know, there's actually hats that you could get when you verify your email on Roblox. So if you didn't know, I'll actually look it up right now. I'll just look up Roblox verification hat. And basically, once you look this up, you should get two hats. You will see the verified sign and then the verified bondified platified. Now, basically, the verified bond sorry, I can't even speak. The verified bondified platified is actually the one I'm gonna be talking about in the beginning of the video, and I'm gonna be talking about the verified sign at the end. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to actually get both these hats. But basically, first thing I'm gonna be talking about is the verified bondified platified. And so basically, what you want to do is you want to go to your Roblox menu here. You don't have to be on a specific page, but I'm just gonna be on my home page. And you can go to the top right, and you'll see this little gear icon, which is going to bring you to the settings tab. And basically, once you're here, you're going to see a bunch of stuff you're going to see your username it should show past usernames if you ever change your username password and then it'll show your phone number if you also have an email attached to it and basically it's going to show this thing called parents email now it's only going to say parents email if your account is under 13 so as you guys could see and this account was made in 2014 or well, not made in 2014 i just labeled it i was it was, I, was I was born in 2014 which is obviously not true but anyway as you guys could see parents email address i need to put in my parents email address so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to the may open up a new tab and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go to this thing right here where, where your icon is and it's gonna show you know your email and whatever and your other emails and you're gonna go to press add a new account or add another account and basically once you're here you're going to just press create a new account and just press for myself just to make it simple now what you want to do is you want to type in your first name so I'm just gonna type in whatever I feel like I'm just not trying to make this action actual account so basically I'm just gonna copy and paste this username and just like you completely do that over again so basically yeah that's what I'm gonna do so I'll just you know do whatever uh, Google tells me to do because I'm not actually trying to use this account although if you're gonna actually try and use this account you could uh, just change the usernames and stuff but basically what you want to do now is you want to make a password so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna pick a password that I already have so yeah I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna retype that in and uh, yeah so make sure that you pick a strong password because when you do actually pick a strong password it uh, lowers the chances of you actually getting uh, you know hacked and you could also go to a password generator on Google if you really wanted to to make a very strong password but uh, yeah so next thing you're gonna be taken into is the optional tab on Google so basically as you guys could see you can press in your phone number if you want to put in your phone number to add an extra an extra verification this is because if you don't want your account to get hacked like you know if you don't want your roblox account to get hacked because people could actually use your email to hack your roblox account then uh yeah you could put in your phone number right there your parents phone number and then you could put in a recovery email address if you really wanted to to just give yourself that extra layer of protection and then you want to put in your birthday so i'll just press june uh like i'll just press june 3rd and then 2000 i usually press 2000 because um you know that's over 18 years and it sounds you know like reasonable so basically you could just put your gender to whatever you want you could put male female rather not say or custom and then once you do that you could just go press next and then you're going to agree to the google terms of services i've never actually read this but you guys could actually read this if you really really wanted to so i'm just going to press agree and then once you do that you should have the phrase refresh and then you should see that you actually do have your new google account now next step is you're going to want to go to your roblox settings and you want to press add parents email and then basically what you want to do is you want to go back to Google and you're going to press on the icon right here, whatever your thing is. You're going to press on it and you're going to see your email right here. So basically what you want to do is you want to highlight that email and you want to press right click and then copy or you can just press control C and then you can just press control V or then you could uh, paste it into the thing. So as you guys can see, I'll just paste it. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to paste it in again. And then after that, I'm just going to press add email. Wait, whoops, sorry. Oh, I, this is actually the password. I'm actually kind of weird. So yeah, one second, let me just do that. 
all right guys so i just added my password into my email and as you guys can see it actually did say that the email would did actually go through now the next step is actually going to go back to your email so basically what you want to do is you want to go back to your google chrome page and then once you want to do is you want to go to the gmail tab right here now you could also press this little thing and it will show the gmail icon right there but you know gmail just going right there is actually way easier or you could go to the gmail website and then it's going to load and it's going to should show it should show a roblox uh, authentication thing so basically it's going to say once you uh I put in your email that a authentication verify thing actually went through and you should verify your email so basically what you're going to do is it's going to say your child has created an account the newbie all whatever and then uh, you're going to press verify email down there and then once you do that you should get a hat that says the verify bonafide thing and then if i'm supposed to go to my inventory you'll actually see that that hat is actually now on my roblox account so that's how you get this verify bonafide thing now we're going to be talking about how to actually get the verified sign on roblox and it's actually kind of a like a kind of a strange glitch on on Roblox so to get the verified bonafide thing you have to do that whole step again you know you have to just like you know if you want to you want to rewatch the video and basically if you get that you will actually have a glitch or you have a chance of a glitch happening where basically it would actually give you the verified bonafide thing and the verification hat or a verification sign on Roblox which if you don't know there's a little glitch on Roblox where if you actually verify your email it might either mix up the thing and instead of giving you the verified bonafide platified it'll actually give you the verified sign or it'll just give you both of them and and for most people this glitch doesn't really work so you know once you go to your inventory it should show as you know having the verified bonafide thing but if you're lucky and the glitch actually uh, ends up working you could actually get the verified sign so basically once you get the verified sign the verified bonafide thing that's pretty much how you get that um i don't really think there's any other way to actually get the verified sign um that's pretty much the only way i've ever heard of when people just have a glitch of the thing actually end up working so uh yeah that's pretty much how you get the verified sign and how you pretty much get the verified bonafide thing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoy your new roblox hats and uh, yeah to be honest with you it's kind of a rare hat now that i think about it because you have to actually do a glitch to get this but have well, whatever i don't even know what i'm saying anymore but basically uh yeah you have to kind of do this little thing to get the hat and you could also get the verified sign the same way if you're lucky but oh uh, yeah that's pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching comment subscribe join the roblox group in the description below follow my twitter at mr underscore cringe underscore 101 join the roblox group and uh yeah get the road to 1k shirt and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow i'm the newbie peace out